Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Today I'll try and be very quick and brief. Um, we'll be studying from the book of Galatians chapter 3 from verses 26 into uh, chapter 4. For ye are all children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. No, he called us children of God. There's a reason I said that. And we're children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. So if you have faith in Christ Jesus, then you are now a child of God. That is, by your faith in Christ Jesus, accepting Christ, you become a child of God. For as many of you are, as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. So if you've been baptized into the body of Christ, you've put on Christ. There is neither, there is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither born nor free. There is neither male nor female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. In essence, he's saying that we're all equal before God once we're in Christ. There's no senior, no junior. We are all equal. Then he goes on and says, If ye be Christ's, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. We're getting into chapter 4 now, verse 1. Now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, differeth nothing from a servant, though he be lord of all. So you know the difference between a child and a servant. The servant has no inheritance. But a child has an inheritance. A child knows the father's business. The servant does work to, to earn. The child doesn't, earn, doesn't do anything to earn. The child is already an inheritor. Verse 2. But is under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the father. Even so, we, when we were children, were in bondage unto the elements of the world. But when the fullness of time was come, God sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. And because he has sons, notice he's calling us sons, and we've been adopted as sons. God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father, wherefore thou art no more a servant, but a son. And if a son, then... An heir of God through Christ. Notice he's saying we are no more servants but sons. I know it, com common theology and humility wants to make us call ourselves servants of God. But note here in Galatians chapter 4 verse uh, 7. He says we are no more servants but sons. We've been adopted as sons. You remember the story of the prodigal son? After he messed up. And went away. He wanted to come back in humility to be like the servants. Did the father accept that? The father said no. The father treated him as a son. We are sons in the house now. Change your mentality. There's a different mentality between a servant and a son. Yes, the son, out of love for the father, does things for the father. He makes himself useful in the house of the father. But it is not... Uh, but as a, as a duty, that is that he, he he's paid for it. It's out of love for the father he does it. But the servants do it to earn a wage. Note, we are no more servants but sons. Wherefore thou art no more a servant but a son. And if a son, then an heir of God through Christ. So you have inherited stuff. Servants have no inheritance. No inheritance. The promise does not say... Uh, Basically, in fact, the word servants there were like slaves. You didn't, you didn't, not, not, nothing was your due. It's whatever you got, you took. But as a son, the fatted calf was killed for him. Always bear that in mind. We are no more servants but sons, as long as we are in Christ now. Under the old covenant, they were servants. But now that Christ came and died for us, we became sons. We were adopted into the family, into the household of God as sons, no more as servants. God bless you. Hallelujah.